or else be absent, I may hear of your affairs, that you stand fast in one spirit, even if we weren't receiving the live streams or the videos of the apostles, brothers would still be moving in the spirit of Yahweh by Shemel Shot. That's why these devils take down our channels and hide other brothers' channels and terminate them and shit. Brothers, keep going. And even when the internet is finally done and through, we still going to be uh, believing on every word that's written in the book. That's what right. happened. That's right. That with one mind striving together for the faith of the gospel. With one mind huh? striving for the faith of the gospel. What is our hope? What is our expectation? Salvation. Salvation. And with that, the destruction of our enemies. And in nothing terrified by your adversaries. See, a lot of our people are afraid and fearful. What the fuck are you afraid about? What are you fearing? It's just like when the Egyptians was behind us. Lord was telling Moses, why are you crying to me? Tell the people to go for it. Lord shall fight for you. Go ahead, I... Which is to them an evident token of perdition to our enemies, us being out here, our apostles being out here, is an evident token, a sign of their destruction. Go ahead, I... But to you of salvation, but unto our people, the elect salvation. Go ahead, I... And that of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. That of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. That we are here. That we're still around. Hence, this is the kingdom of heaven. Uh, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It must be changed. It must be born again. For unto you it is given in the behalf of Yahweh Shai, not only to believe on him, but also to suffer for his sake. So it's cool if we suffer now, because we eventually going to reign with him. So there ain't, there ain't no stopping that, uh, Esau. Eat him, you heathen. Niggas, there ain't no stopping that day from coming back. Everything is, is trickling down to that day. Everything that's happening is going to lead to the MOTB. It's going to lead to World War III. It's going to lead to the return right. of Yahweh If I could say that's the return of Yahweh is going to be like a joy for us we've never experienced before. Just trying to put it in a, a carnal example. Yeah. Let's say you ain't got no box in a while. Maybe it's been six months to a year, and you expecting some on a particular night, and then you finally get it, and then that it just feels so good. That that's just a carnal, right. fleshly pleasure and lust. How much more something spiritual that yep. we can't even perceive we can't, right now. That's a beautiful But point. we know because yeah. it ain't like you was a virgin and it was your first. You got the box before. You know how it feel like. You just went a period of time. That's like us with Yahweh Shai. We had Yahweh Shai before. We had our godly estate, but we just went so long without it that we don't even know or remember what it feels like. That's a beautiful point. So when, when it comes, when Yahweh Shai comes, when, when his men are exalted, that's gonna be a joy like nothing. Like, never like nothing, no pleasure, no high we've uh, ever experienced. And, and and in, I, a, in a new body. Man, and I get that in Corinthians. That is the beginning. What, what really is all the beginning. There's different stages of the kingdom of heaven. It's the word, the, the preaching of it, the message, what, what it entails, what it is. The kingdom of heaven is in you. The kingdom of heaven is only in Israel. It is just like uh, on Superman, uh, 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 Man of Steel. Remember what Zod did, uh, did? What Zod was trying to do, but what did uh, Jar El do? He put into his son Cal El the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the ministry of uh, damn, uh, citizens. Right. He put it. He put the whole race inside, inside Superman and shit. Yeah, <laughs> so every Israelite man is a danger. You know why? Because in him. Is the, the bloodline of the gods. That's so, right. Woo. We got to take these people out. That's take, what Esau what it, said. Hey, hey, take, take the take world, boy. Right. Hey, I, why do you think Esau <laughs> has been attacking our sperm? Woo. You know, certain shit he's putting the food, chemicals, and stuff, shots have been uh, uh, making men sterile. Yeah. And, but hey, look at it. We here still. Why do you think he's so uh, promoting the, the, the cannabis? Yeah. And uh, all these they got niggas fucking gassed out. Yep. Hey, I, man, that's beautiful. Yep. Damn, yep. Because hey, that's two thirds. That's just that's just they lot. But what's beautiful is he did that with his eugenics, with the with the shots, with the food, with the air, with every goddamn thing. He he took our fathers out of the house. And what did he do with our women? 
He pitted our he put our women against us because now we at a time when 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 the ugly ass woman is saying that she gonna kill fuck the kids and kill the babies and got fucking uh, rights behind it. But you know what's beautiful though? We don't even need a woman. No, we can get any woman and we'll bring back. How about that? So, but hey, but yet there are elect women of our nation that's going to be with brothers and bring forth they see and they shall be saved by child bearers. This is above, <laughs> this is above everything. Just, just, the scriptures say the earth abided forever. The earth isn't going to be destroyed. But let's just say hypothetically, Esau found a way to blow up the earth, destroy the earth. The most high could beam up the elect plants us in another universe just like that like nothing yeah just like that yeah. Yeah, because, it, it, hey, because everything belongs to us any goddamn way yeah. you know it belongs to you it belongs to us anyway so we just played out we just played out we just played out our role and we're in the greatest movie ever we're at the end of the movie man that's right the movie is about the, the the movie is about the end and we're gonna be cheering forever we're the real mm -hmm. cheerleaders bro yeah. right you that was it, King. That was it? Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. In, uh, in Genesis. Uh, this is Genesis 35, starting at verse 9. It goes all the way back, man. It says, And the Most High appeared unto Jacob again when he came out of Padan, Padan Aram, and blessed him. And the Most High said unto him, Thy name is Jacob. Did, did the Lord do that to Esau? Did he stop him in the way? Hell came no. down with like, blessed him. Even though Isaac blessed him, the Lord didn't come down and uh, hey, well, if Isaac didn't want you to eat, then I'm doing it. No, the Lord came down and spoke to Jacob. Because right? Jacob was on the run at this time. Oh shit, he's going to kill me. And the Lord spoke to Jacob. Everything is going to be fine. Go ahead. Thy name shall not be called anymore Jacob, but Israel. And you know, that's beautiful. Because his name was changed when? He didn't give up, man. And that's that's the spirit. That's that's why the Lord loves our our our, our nation. Well, really, our forefathers, and, and through them, He loves the nation because our forefathers had faith. They 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 were the sons of promise. The Lord already chose them, and then we have a fighting spirit. We just don't ever just give up. That's what He got the black belt. <laughs> and what's spiritual about that too is uh, with the, that separation between Jacob and Esau, the spirituality. Jacob was always looking for the longevity of it. Esau was looking for the here and now. The, uh, the microwave. He, yeah, he, yeah, right. The microwave. He was when you look at Jacob, he was always trying to do something that was substantial for every generation that came after him. He was all about getting the perpetual blessings. Esau wanted that here and now. He wrestled that anger. He said, I ain't letting you go till you bless me, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that was a blessing that would transcend to every other tribe that came from his seed, man. That's right. You know, Esau was just, Esau was just, oh, fuck it, I'm hungry. I want it now. You can have the yeah. blessing. Feed me now. Not realizing, had he been spiritual, he could have just fasted. Or he could have just had the lentil soup without me. Yeah. Yeah. Another heavy yeah. element of, of, <laughs> of that blessing. Right? Another heavy element of that blessing you just mentioned was the duration. Esau's blessing was of a certain time, but ours is going to be eternal. Forever. Forever. Right. And so you know, what can right. you compare that yeah. point of time to and that, eternity? Is, is it? That's spiritual because Esau was the firstborn, but he didn't give a damn about the birthright. So, but but Jacob knew. He understood. Like, oh shit! Like, crazy. I'm gonna be cool. <laughs> like, like my, I'm gonna be cool, and my descendants are gonna be cool. Yep. And that was the physical manifestation of the promise that the Lord gave. And Esau, he's ruling in this first world. But he doesn't look, he don't give a fuck about the earth, he don't give a guy. God. Like, the nigga in the land, it, it goes to show you that that's exactly how his forefather felt about his blessing. Yeah. Like, you supposed to get the fatness of the earth, you supposed to get the blessing of the father, but you don't give a fuck. This nigga fucks so, Esau's up, playing that out physically right now with his rulership, he don't give a fuck. Hey, another uh, example of that yep. is, is um, Isaac and Rebecca, they told their sons not to deal with them damn Hamites. Yep. Now Esau, he just got some quick, his first wife was a Hamite, you know, real quick put his seed in there. Jacob, however, he, cause you, you went into how he was with the longevity, oh, 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 he had the foresight, what he did, yeah, he, he went for uh, for Rachel, but he ended up getting Leah first. 
but he was willing to stick it out and work, yeah. work for yeah. his uncle because he had the vision like, no, I'm going to put my seeds in these women. They both go hey, carry can, my can, seeds. Can a brother put get that in Tobit all up in their service. With, when he got his wife. And he got it. We got to get with so Tobias, got, got his wife, yeah. and Tobit specifically said, go for this woman. She's of your tribe. You know, that's what that was in our culture. Like, deal with your own kinswoman. And the kinswoman we're dealing with right now is wisdom. Because through wisdom, we know, like, hey, shit, any woman will do it. <laughs> Couldn't do it. Because we have the seed. We have the power, man. The power is in your ball set. You got the X and Y chromosome. You decide. Through the spirit, the Lord gave us that, man. But how much more being the people of the world? Now, all men on the planet Earth got a certain... Uh, sovereignty about them, so they got a power. But who's greater than all men on the planet Earth? The Israelites, that's right. Continue when it says, Thy name shall not be called anymore Jacob, but Israel shall be thy name. And he called his name Israel. And the Most High said unto him, I am Yahweh, power almighty, be fruitful and multiply. And the Lord told that to Jacob so that we could be as the sands upon the seashore and the stars of heaven as he promised Abraham, his father, man, his, his forefather. It says, or the Most High says, a nation and a company of nations. Those are the tribes. Each tribe is a nation in itself. Like when you just talk about Issachar, ah, Issachar, they own shit, they ain't like you talk to a nigga, you know, back in the day, you be like, no, nah, it's cars are people, Mexicans are people. Ah, oh, no, no, they got, you know, that there, there are people. They're just another tribe of our people. We're all one nation. You put us all together, we the majority of the planet's population. But yet they call us a minority. You see the mind fuck right there? Like, no, y'all the, actually the most people on the earth. But Esau made you think that you was the least. Just imagine that you go anywhere around the world to these heathen, everybody know about the Mexicans. And to them, that, that's their own people. Yeah, Not even knowing that that's only one tribe of a whole nation. That's it. That's crazy. That's, that imagine is. that. Yeah. Go ahead, right. It says, in kings shall Ooh. come out of thy loins. Hey, I tell that to that, that demon Bennett over there. It didn't say prime minister shall come out of you. It said kings. Well, <laughs> you go throw that. Where is David? Where is the, where is the Lord, man? Where is Yahweh shot? See, if y'all the people, y'all supposed to have crowns on your head, not a fucking small head. A crown. Go ahead, I'll read that again. It says, and kings shall come out of thy loins. So it's always destined for us to have kings, because there was an era where we had judges, right? But really, in, in retrospect, they were kings. Moses was the king in the wilderness. Though he had a crown or the, or the throne, I, he was a king. And then the, the, the actual age of the kings came during the time of Samuel when he anointed Saul. Then Saul lost it, and then David became king. And who forwarded his kingdom? Solomon, which was a precursor of what the kingdom of heaven would be on the earth. So one of the thing about the elect too, they have come back to make the most high their king. Because the two thirds in Israel back in that day, they said, no, we want an actual king in the flesh. Because the most high was supposed to be our king. You know what I'm saying? But the elect in this time is going back to the most high. Uh, As the king? Because none of us got crowns on. Uh, you don't see the apostles yeah. the hard apostles yeah. with the crowns. Sitting on the crown. Right, right, right. You know? Like, like that fucking, like that dude, uh, Zabak. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. You, yeah. Niggas, yeah. you niggas need to sit down somewhere and shut up, man. Dude, we have one king. Yahweh is king over all, man. He's the king over all the earth. And then we have the king of kings, who is the rightful king. Yahweh shot. That's right. And that's who we come to preach unto you, man. That's right. That's it. And the land which I gave Abraham and Isaac Ooh. to thee, I will give it. The Lord gonna give us that land. And in and, and that state of Israel, the, the shit they got is, is, is whack as hell. That's nothing. That's a little damn sliver of what is really promised to us. It said from the rivers of Egypt to, man. Yeah, that's a big chunk. That's a big and ass that's, chunk. And that's man. exactly in the most... Uh, Fertile part of the earth. The it's supposed to be. Yeah. yeah, that's the middle of the earth. And we coming from having not nice shit, man. Yeah. I got shit. And we gonna have the best. Are you talking about the, the Most High gonna give us the best 
land on the earth. Hey, now you gotta, you gotta say it from uh, uh, green, green, uh, green I can't pasture. Land so, 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 so what do you think is the best uh, uh, a patch of land down there? You think? <laughs> if you ask me, oh, ask why you guys say that? You said it's a uh, uh, ge geographical uh, landmark where the Tigris and Euphrates cross, and uh, the people who've been out there, they said the water right there is like something you never fucking tasted. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And we don't know shit, but water with tripazine, phosphate, baby, whatever. Yeah. Uh, you know? yeah. With forever chemicals and shit. Yeah. We got what, the LA River? Right. Hey, uh, <laughs> hey, uh, hey, you know what? Uh, yeah. we're, we're just like Joshua and Caleb, if a brother can get that in Ciroc, uh 40, 46, man. We're just like Joshua and Caleb, because they were one of, there were two of the, of the 12 spies that went into the land. They actually seen the land for what? Yeah, how it told Moses it would be like, damn, land flowing with milk and honey, like, damn. So they went in there and seen it like, damn. we can only, Big like the brother said, all we know is yeah. uh, fair phosphate and yeah. shit and fucking, what the other <laughs> shit, the um, <laughs> high fructose corn oh, yeah, syrup and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We, we don't know nothing about a vineyard. RBST. It's so figs and shit. Soy and shit. Soy and shit. Can you shit. imagine the plant life and the oxygen that yep. gives out? Oh, yeah. And like the elder Barack said, hey, I, we ain't supposed to have no weak ass stores. What the fuck is right, that? Right. We're supposed to have our own goddamn cow, our own yep. everything, man. A, cab a Cabernet Sauvignon uh, waterfall. Yep. He's, he's right there in the kingdom. Hey, but see the beauty. You know what that is, right. bro. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. You ate it, so shit, I want to do <laughs> hey, but see, brothers, the beautiful part is where, where the seed of Jacob, where Jacob's seed, right? It says, and to thy seed after thee will I give the land. So we about to inherit it. We're the seed of Jacob left here on the earth in these last days. And Lord willing, we stick this thing out and endure to the end. We're going to be saved and we're going to get that land when it's restored back to his beauty. Not uh, a house restoring yeah. land. Just think about that. Not this, that's like you included that again, farmland and shit. Brothers is going to have like compounds, man. Not just like what yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. I don't even know words are, to describe it. Think about it because you're going to have your own farm, your own this, that. Everything's going to be gated. Like if hey, your own, if your own concubine farm, it, it goes into right. a harem. There's harems in the scriptures like Solomon had. That's right. Bro, he had more concubines than he had wives. That's right. <laughs> you know, twice as many. Hey, and think about how many houses you have to have because when they get on their monthly, they got to leave. Bro. Yeah. So they have to have their own place to go. Yep. When you look at a harem, it was a whole palace for your concubines. Man. It was a whole, they had their whole quarters. It was like, yeah. a, like a castle in and of itself. Man. We're going to have our own harems, bro. That's fucking wild. Yeah. Man. Here. <laughs> hey, that's <laughs> <it>. here. <laughs> so I can even think of doing this shit. Think about it. So I'm going to read it again.